When you go to a restaurant, do you like to eat the regular items you always eat or try something new? I can remember when I was 12 years old, my parents took us to Washington, D.C., and we ate at a restaurant, and for the first time in my life, I heard these two words, blue cheese. That's right, blue cheese salad dressing. Now, I can only imagine what some of your reactions are as I say that and as you hear it. I found that some people love blue cheese salad dressing and other people hate it. I mean, just the name of it, right? I don't know that it was the easiest for somebody to market something with that kind of a name, blue cheese. But anyway, I decided to try it out, not sure what to expect, and I loved it, and I still do. You know, sometimes it's good to try out new things, and sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. But one thing is for sure, the victory we've tried out in Christ is always worth it. But like many things, we can actually allow what is good to be turned into something, well, not so good. What do I mean? Well, too much of candy can make you sick, right? Eating too much food adds on the pounds. Doing a lot of good things in the community can pull you away from your family. But perhaps the most dangerous is that we can allow the hope and victory we have in Christ to become sour. Yeah, that's right. You know, in Revelation chapter 10, we meet an angel, a large one at that, who stands over the world and holds a scroll. Now, the scroll can represent one of two things, either the Word of God, the Bible, or future events. And he begins to share what's in it. But God commands that John not record it. God, while he has shared a lot with us through this book, still has some things that, well, he wants to keep to himself. And that's his right. He's God. But after the scroll is read, John is told to take the scroll and to eat it. Hmm. That's a weird request. John finds a scroll that really tastes good, but later his stomach hurts. I mean, what does all this mean? Has a good thing turned into a bad one? Perhaps. It seems that while the Word of God is good for us, it can sometimes make us sick to our stomach. Not because God's Word is bad, but because it can make us uncomfortable. You know, even victory comes at a cost. Now, part of this, too, is, is that which is not revealed. The likely future events that God holds back, those things can make us sick, too. And maybe that's what's making John sick. And we see in chapter 11 that God's people, as represented in the two witnesses that are there, are persecuted and that they are killed after a period of time. Now, there are a lot of interpretations as to what the three and a half day means. It, is it years? We don't know for sure. But the fact is, is that God's people are affected. The sweet taste of God's word is sour as they suffer for it. It seems that evil is winning. And the world dances in glee at the supposed end of God's people. But like what always happens with Christ's followers, they have the final word. They are resurrected and the world is in fear. I mean, wouldn't you be? And what does the world do? It looks to God. But you know what? Then it gets even worse. The trumpet sounds and heaven and earth become one. This is a good thing for Christ followers, but a terrible day for those who want their own way. You know, I guess these two chapters, they show us that devouring devouring or making God's Word a part of who we are, it's a wonderful thing. But it can make us feel a little queasy sometimes. But boy, is it worth it. So I guess the question is, will you partake of the victory fully? Will you scarf it down and make it your own? Will you even gorge yourself on it? And and that's good, but beware of the stomach ache that will come. That stomach ache might mean that following Jesus is going to be hard. It, It might mean that some of God's consequences for the people we love might be harsh and hard to take. And personally, the problem that can make us sick is is even how we handle the victory. Will we gorge ourselves on it all the while forgetting to share it? Will your victory be a personal event or one that you share? Yeah, go ahead and devour the victory, but don't forget to leave some to share with others.